Okay, let's balance this equation here. We have nitric acid, HNO3, plus ALOH3, which is aluminum hydroxide. So we'll count the atoms up. We have one hydrogen here, plus we have hydrogen here, one of them, three times one, that's three. So we have four hydrogen atoms. We have one nitrogen, three oxygens, plus the three times the one, that gives us three more. We have six total oxygens and one aluminum. Over on the product side, we have two hydrogens. This three applies to everything here. So we have three times the one, three nitrogens, three times the three, nine oxygens, plus we have one oxygen here. So that's 10 total oxygens. And then we have just one aluminum. Why don't we start by balancing the nitrogens here? Because if I change the nitrogen, I'm gonna to have to multiply this by three and that's gonna change a lot of stuff. So it's easier to do that early on. I'll put a three in front of the HNO3 and that will balance the nitrogens and I'll need to update all this information here. So I have one times three, that's three hydrogens, plus we have the three over here. That gives us six nitrogens, one times three, three of those, and then oxygens, three times three is nine, plus the three times the one, three. We have 12 oxygens and our aluminum stays the same. Over on the product side, so we balance the nitrogen. Why don't we look at balancing the hydrogen next? That seems to make sense. We have six hydrogens on the reactant side, only two here. If we put a three in front of the H2O, two times three, that gives us six and that fixes the hydrogens. We do need to update our oxygens though. So at our three times three, that's nine, plus one times three, that's three, Nine plus three gives us 12, and all of a sudden, we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HNO3 plus ALOH3, and thanks for watching.